Hello, everyone. Here is Lina. Today, I'm going to teach you some tips of embroidering hats. Embroidering hats is different from embroidering regular clothes, so there are a few things you need to keep in mind: the hat setup, the tension adjustment, and choosing the right needle. These tools you will need in the cap embroidering: the cap, the cap driver, the cap hoop, the Z-type screwdriver, the Allen wrench. Cap embroidery needle plate, and the clips, and the cap station, and the iron, and the stabilizers. Before embroidery, it is necessary to know the cap structure and the embroidery air. The head structure includes the crown, the body, and the brim, the visor, and the sweet band. The embroidery air is 65 mm in the height. And 350 mm in width, but you need to keep 20 mm as safety distance. About the embroidered air, you can refer to this image. The design for head embroidery is different from other regular designs. It needs special digitizing. It is suggested to create the patterns in advance, or you can download the pre-made head embroidery. This design is we will use today. The width is 90 mm and the height is 54 mm, which fits the embroidery here perfectly, so we can use it directly. Next, let's get familiar with the cap frame. There is a hook on the top of the cap embroidery. It is used to make sure the correct position of the head after the cap installation. There is a cap shelf with a fixed block here to connect the embroidery cap hoop. There is a cap slot at the back. It is used to fix the cap station with a working table. There are two screws at the bottom. It is used to fix the cap station with a working table. Now, let's install the cap station. Left rotate is loosened, and the right rotate is tightened. Now, let's loosen first. Okay. Then put the cap station on the working table. Then fix the screws. Once the cap station is installed, let's get to know the cap hoop. It has a large notch. It is used to connect the cap station to the cap driver's fixed block. There are five large notches. One, two, three, four, and five. These are used to connect the cap station and the cap driver. Among them, this one and this one, they are used to adapt to other cap and cap driver. There are two pillars and one pressure chain. They are used to secure the cap. Now, let's connect the cap hoop to the cap station. There are three latches on the cap station. One, two, three. They are connected to the three latch notches on the cap hoop. One, two, three. And find the large notch notches connected to the cap station fixed block. And then align the notches to the fixed block and put inward. The cap hoops is fixed. Next, we will install the hat and the stabilizer. Get a prepared stabilizer. Since the cap has a certain thickness, so we only need a tearaway stabilizer. If your hat is stiff and hard like this, you don't need to use a stabilizer. Open the pressure chain. Put the stabilizer. 
beneath the fixed seat. Pull out the sweatband and put it on the fixed seat. Fix the bottom with the two pillars of the cap hoop. Slide the pressure chain to the right. After the hat installed, you can use the iron to steam the cap to make the embroidery area softer and make it more stable when embroidery. Next, let's get familiar with the cap driver. The long strip is the guide rail of the cap driver, which connects to the machine's guide rail. On the top, there are four holes, one, two, three, four. When installation, we only need to use the outermost two holes for the bearings two holes. They are adapting for the different guide rail. This is the stand of the cab driver. There are three latches, one, two, three, and a fixed block on the top, which is secured to the cab hoop. At the back, there are four wheels that connect to the guide rail at the bottom of the shuttle base, controlling the forward and backward movement. For installation, make sure there are not any other accessories on the guide rail. Next, let's click the embroidery frame. Click size button, then you will find there are two cap frames on the screen. Cap 1 is to embrace the front of the cap, and cap 2 is to embrace the side of the cap. Since we are embroidering the front of the cap today, so we choose cap 1. Then the guide rail will move to the correct position for cap installing. So, before installing the cap driver, we need to select the cap frame first to avoid the unnecessary movement damage to the cap driver and the cap hoop. After that, let's begin to install the cap driver. Loosen the two screws a little. Then pull the cap driver. During the installation, ensure the bottom wheels are in well connected with the bottom guide rail of the shuttle base, then slide it in horizontally. Then put the screws on the fifth holes of both sides. One, two, three, four, five. Then tighten the screws. After installing the cap driver, we need to replace the needle plate. The original one is for the regular embroidery. For cap embroidery, we need a specific needle plate. It is higher than the regular one. It can reduce the gap between needle plate and the cap, and making better qualities on caps. Now let's start it. Use the C-shaped screws to loose the two screws on the needle plate. Then put the cap needle plate into the correct spot and then put back the screws. Then tighten them. After replacing the needle plate, we need to check the bobbin in the bus to make sure it is in correct direction and make sure it is enough for the pattern. It is recommended to install a full bobbin which can embroider 30,000 stitches to 40,000 stitches. Once the cap driver is installed, let's install the cap hook with hat. Before installation, it can only be installed from the front. It needs to be installed from the side. Then push the cap hoop in, ensuring that the cap driver does not move. After installation, move the cap hoop forward and backward to ensure that it is securely in place. 
After the installation is complete, we can start to import the design. User use SP and copy your design into it. And make sure your design is saved as DST or DSB format, since our machine can only support these two formats. Also, make sure your USB storage is less than 64 GB. And by the way, our machine can recognize up 200 design or 20 million stitches. Insert the USB. Click Pattern. Click Input. Click the design you want. And click Input. Click Cancel. Choose the imported design and click save. Now it's OK. Now let's choose pattern and then click the pattern you want. Click it and click save. Now it shows the design number is used. It means you didn't exit the last embroidery model of the last pattern. We need to click cancel. Click close and go back to the main interface and then click EMB. Let's exit the embroidery model. Click OK. Now we are in the edit model now. Let's go back to choose pattern again. Click the pattern you want. Click it and save. It is OK now. After select design, we need to choose the thread color. When choosing thread colors, we need to refer the colors in the software so that we can make sure the embroidered colors match the real colors. Check the color of real thread and choosing the corresponding needle bar number. For example, if the first color in the software is gray and the gray color is in the third needle bar, then we choose number 3 as the first color and follow the same process for selecting other colors. The second color is needle 2. The third color is needle 11. The fourth color is needle 12. And the fifth color is needle 6. And the last color is needle 12. And save it. Click OK. We will provide more teaching videos on how to set and choose colors. You can follow our official website and YouTube channel for updates. After selecting the colors, we need to click Trace to find out the correct emerald print string. There are two types. One is normal trace and another one is outline trace. Now click normal trace and click OK. The machine will switch to number one needle, so we only need to observe the position of the number one needle. If you want to make sure the position is more accurate, you can click the normal trace first, and then click the outline trace. It will check along the outline of the pattern. But edge trace is slow and only used when the pattern is almost close to the frame. Usually, we just need a normal trace. Check it a few times to make sure the position is inside the frame and in the best position we want. If no needle after clicking, we need to rotate the color change model hand wheel slowly. until the screen shows numbers. Any number is OK, except 0. Click normal trace again. Now the embody position is confirmed. Since we are using a struck head today, it is harder than other types of head. Our machine has done the 80 slash 12 embroidered needle. This needle is titanium plated and has strong strength, more suitable for this type of hat, help reduce needle breaking. Before starting embroidery, we also need to check if the thread stand is lifted. Lifting the stand can make the thread go smoothly. Check the detection wheel has made a full circle. If not, it may cause a false alarm. Also, make sure that the thread is correctly installed on the needle bar to reduce the thread break issues. In addition, 
We need to make sure the tension is well adjusted. Tension will change the quality of embroidery. In the future, we will provide more videos about tension adjustment. OK, let's get started. Click Ready button. Click OK. Click Start button. Okay, the embroidery is finished now. If you want to learn more, you can follow us. Thanks for your watching today. See you next time.